Well, we're helping you save more money at the grocery store with Mary Hance, Miss Cheap, and she's got some good ideas for maximizing your savings. Well, I call this stockpiling, and most of the things that I'm buying today are things that I don't immediately need. These are things that I know I'm going to need later, and I'm finding them at the best price and stocking up at that point. And a lot of times they're the common things that you use all the time. Right, things that you know you're going to use and they're non-perishable and you can just save them till you need them instead of having to pay the big price, you know, if you need them right then. Okay. A, a good example is Hellman's mayonnaise. Uh, I'm kind of a snob about mayonnaise, so I'm not buying the store brand, but I've seen this. This is on sale today, and I have a coupon. Wow. So you, you took, put the two together, and that's the trick. Yeah, because it's already a dollar off, and then you're saving 50 more cents? That's right. That's right. And then the same thing with the Colgate toothpaste. This is a 10 for 10, and I've got a 50-cent coupon, so this is going to be 50 cents. Wow. And that's something, you know, I don't need toothpaste today, but I'll eventually need it. So buy it when it's on sale. That's right. And then things like detergent are a good are a good option for this, too. You know, the prices on these vary. So, you know, if you can find it at the lowest price, and that's when you go ahead and buy several uh, to take home and just put them under the pantry and be done with it. Okay. Um, crackers are another thing. Crackers and snacks, they go on sale a lot. Um, and the prices vary. I would never pay more than a certain amount for crackers, and that would probably be never more than $2.99 for a box of crackers. And if they're already sealed, they'll stay just as fresh. Right. So the pickles are another thing. You know, that's another thing. They're not going to go bad. Uh, if you find them at a great price uh, and you have a coupon, that's when you load up. These were already 80 cents off, and then if you get another 50 cents off on top of it, that's a deal. I know it. And uh, toilet paper is another thing that I just think is, you know, I hate to spend a lot of money on toilet paper. But this was $5.99 normally. Um, it was two for 10, so you get two of them, so you're going to save $2 that way. <clears throat> and then I've got a coupon for $1.50. So, you know, that's, that's going to save me a good bit on toilet paper, and then I don't have to worry about running out. <laughs> Where do you store it? Uh, I have a place in my closet that I put it. Okay. The cereal aisle is a great place to find things to stockpile if you find things on sale. Well, cereal's one of them I always look for. Sometimes you can get, you know, great deals on it, and they're usually coupons for that. I also look for peanut butter. That seems a good one to stockpile. Um, canned goods are so something that are, you know, they don't go bad. Uh, if you can get the great price, they're good. Um, soft drinks. I mean, Cokes, you know, a lot of times they'll have three for a certain price. You have to buy three, but, you know, it does it does pay off. It really does add up. And you always want to check the store brands, too. The store brands can be a real savings, but you need to do the math and make sure that, you know, with the coupon and with the special that it really is the best deal. All right, some great tips on stockpiling. If you've got the place to store the stuff, you've got a great deal. Thanks so much. Thanks. Stay cheap.